On December 7, 2021, China's first subway project of in Europe, the southwest section of Moscow Metro's Big Circle Line, undertaken by China Railway Construction, was officially open to traffic. This is the first time that Russia has introduced Chinese enterprises in the field of subway construction. On the same day, Russian President Putin attended the opening ceremony in the form of a video connection. He said, this is an important milestone in the history of the development of the Moscow Metro. The winter in Moscow is very cold. Under extremely cold conditions, not only the soil layer will freeze locally with different hardness, but also the equipment itself will freeze. So, how did China build subways in an extremely cold environment of minus 20 degrees Celsius? What world-class architectural problems has China solved in this project? Will China's first subway project in Europe bring more overseas orders to China? Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel. OK, let's continue the topic we are talking about. The climate of Moscow is quite different from that of China, and extreme weather is very frequent. Moscow has entered winter from the end of October, with the lowest temperature reaching minus 30 degrees Celsius. Especially in winter construction, the temperature is much lower than the projects undertaken by China Railway Construction Corporation before, which not only tests the cold resistance of every worker, but also requires the equipment to be able to withstand low temperatures. In this case, the General Shield tunneling machine cannot work at all, and the internal ice will cause damage to the mechanical structure. In order to solve this problem, the key components of the whole machine are made of low-temperature-resistant materials. In addition, functions such as low-temperature-resistant type selection design, heat preservation, and heating are added as auxiliary functions so that the shield machine can fully adapt to the low-temperature environment in Russia. In addition, in the work, the Chinese equipment showed excellent performance, and the driving speed was very fast. In winter, the shield tunneling machine can drive 20 meters per day, and the maximum speed can be increased to 40 meters per day, which has broken the record of the construction speed of the subway in Russia. In addition, the construction procedures of this line are complex, the soil composition is different from that in China, and there are a large number of buildings, operating stations, and rivers around. Moscow is a highly developed city. The construction of the subway is bound to pass through many buildings, which requires a high degree of quietness during construction. If the construction causes too much vibration, it will inevitably affect the safety of the ground buildings. However, Chinese-made shield tunneling machine has been quite effective in reducing interference, and passing through ground buildings is not a problem for experienced China. In order to further improve the operation efficiency, the shield tunneling machine is also specially equipped with a continuous excavation belt conveyor, which continuously sends the muck excavated by the shield tunneling machine to the ground. With the joint efforts of Chinese and Russian builders, the project team applied key technologies such as surface subsidence control during shield construction to overcome many problems such as the century-old railway in operation and ancient river channels, creating Russia records of subway construction. The construction of the Moscow Metro has a long history and has an independent and strict construction system and standards. When Chinese companies build subways in Moscow, they not only face various challenges such as language barriers, cultural differences, and the impact of the epidemic, but also need to solve the problem of how to organically combine Chinese technology with local standards. The project also opened a Chinese-Russian bilingual study class for employees. From daily conversations to architectural terminology, to traditional culture and local customs, employees of the two countries taught and learned from each other during work and study. According to the project leader, in response to the differences in technical standards and management norms between the two countries, the project team compiled the first Sino-Russian bilingual subway construction professional manual for Chinese enterprises and explored subway construction technology with both Chinese and Russian characteristics which will help Chinese enterprises carry out related projects in Europe in the future. Moscow Metro's Big Circle Line is a key project of Russia's central transportation hub. According to the plan, the subway line will be 70 kilometers long when it is fully completed, and it is expected to become the longest subway loop line in the world. 
In the southwest section, the construction park undertaken by China Railway Construction has a total length of 5.4 kilometers. Don't underestimate the 5.4 kilometers, which not only include three subway stations, but also need to be responsible for building nine section tunnels between these three subway stations. This contract is worth nearly 23 billion rubles, and it is also the first time that Russian Metro has introduced a Chinese company. About 340,000 residents live in the southwestern section. The completion of it will reduce the daily commute time of local residents by about 40% on average. According to the website of the Moscow city government, after the opening of Amini Station and Vernadsky Street Station, the initial passenger traffic will reach 15,713,300 ,013 passengers per day, respectively. After the opening of Myshurin Street Station, the passenger volume will reach 5,500 ,005 passengers per day in the initial stage of operation, and will reach nearly 11,000 passengers per day in the future. Subway construction not only facilitates people's travel, but also creates a large number of local employment opportunities. During the construction period, the project has a total of 2,068 Chinese and Russian employees, including about 1,900 Russian employees. This efficient multinational team is a strong guarantee for the high-quality construction of the project. Among them, 32-year-old Alexander majors in architecture and has been working as an engineer in the Moscow subway project of China Railway Construction Corporation for four years. He said that the work efficiency of Chinese engineers is very high, and more and more local skilled workers want to join Chinese enterprises. As early as the 1950s, the subway became a testimony to the friendship between China and Russia. In 1956, China invited Soviet experts to guide and plan the first subway in China, Beijing Subway Line 1. More than 60 years later, Chinese companies came to Moscow for the first time to implement subway projects. Chinese netizens commented on this, I don't think Russia is declining. It's the excitement and pride of teachers whose students surpassed teachers and successfully made teachers use their academic achievements. In China in 1990, only three cities had subways, and by 2020, there will be more than 40 Chinese cities with subway systems, a process that only took 30 years. At present, the subways in Shanghai and Beijing are among the most developed in the world, with an annual passenger flow of 2 billion and 1.84 billion respectively. By contrast, the 115-year-old New York subway handles only 1.6 billion passengers a year. Not only is the construction speed of the Chinese subway extremely fast, but the experience is also world-leading. The stations are very clean. However, developed countries lack the construction and management experience of modern subways because the subway construction is generally earlier. In a nutshell, the experience of China's subway construction is also very valuable to other countries. In addition to Moscow, American cities such as Boston and Chicago are also cooperating with Chinese subways. Countries such as Turkey, Brazil and Ethiopia have even handed over large orders for the entire line to Chinese construction management. OK, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.